no matter how good your resume or your LinkedIn profile is, or you have excellent prior experience, as a data analyst, interviews are a crucial step in landing a job. But with so many potential questions that can be asked, it can be a difficult to prepare and feel confident going into an interview. Hey, what's up everyone? If you're new here, my name is Akin, and I've been working as a data analyst for 10 months. In this video, I'm gonna cover 10 common data analyst questions based on my multiple interview experiences and provide tips on how you can answer them effectively. I've probably had about 20 data analyst interviews from panel interviews to last round interviews with companies from all kinds of industries. For all of those interviews, before we got into data analysis, we obviously started with generic questions like tell me about yourself, what are your strengths, your weaknesses, but I'm not gonna talk about those in this video. This will be only the questions specific to data analysis. So let's get right into it. Walk us through your experience with data analysis and how have you used it to solve business problems. This is a typical introductory question that will allow you to showcase your skill set and experience. You can think of it like tell me about yourself or walk me through your resume questions, but specifically for data analysis. It's important to be concise and specific in your response. Think about your most recent work, or if you don't have one yet, talk about data analysis project you've worked on by yourself or for school. List the methods you use to analyze the data. You can say, for the X project I worked on, I first identified a business problem on this specific topic, whatever your project was about. I logically thought through the issue and showcased my thought process with a clear structure. Then I started my analysis process. I used web scraping methods using Python libraries to gather the data, clean the data using Xtool, ran SQL queries to manipulate and visualize. Then you can talk about how your analysis led to business insights and solutions. What programming languages and tools are you familiar with for data analysis? Usually the skills and tools you have are listed on your resume, but you would probably still get asked about them. In my last interview, the hiring manager asked me the tools I used when I was talking about my personal project. He asked me the languages I used as well as the environment and the databases. He also had follow-up questions to make sure I knew what I was talking about. So when they ask you what programming languages or tools are you familiar with, be honest and try to give them details. Details. If you're not proficient in something, don't say you are. How do you approach cleaning and transforming data? I was struggling to answer this question when I first started interviewing for data analyst positions because of my lack of experience, but I still had an answer that I gave from my project experience and from the tutorials I watched. Data cleaning and transformation is a very crucial step in data analysis, so it's important to be able to articulate your approach to this process. Talk about how you identify and deal with missing or dirty data and how you transform it into a format that is ready for data analysis. Be sure to mention any tools or techniques you use in the process. How do you ensure the accuracy and reliability of your analysis? Accuracy and reliability are key components of any data analysis project. Discuss how you validate your data and ensure that your analyses are accurate. Data reliability basically means that your data is complete and accurate. Last thing you want is to analyze, visualize, and present data that is simply wrong. When answering this question, you can talk about any quality assurance procedures you follow, such as checking your results against external data sources or working with the team to review your work. How do you communicate your findings and insights to non-technical stakeholders? I think the most important skill you would have as a data analyst is to be able to communicate your findings to non-technical people in business terms. Your work is ultimately aimed at providing insights and recommendations to stakeholders who again may not have a technical background. Discuss how you communicate your findings in a clear and concise manner. Talk about any visualization tools or techniques you use to convey your analysis and how you tailor your communication style to the audience. What data visualization techniques you use to communicate your findings effectively? Very similar to the previous question, but this one is specific to data visualizations. One of the best ways to communicate your insights with the stakeholders is by using effective visualization techniques. So you would need to know tools like Power BI or Tableau. If you're applying for a data analyst role, it's very important to have some visualizations and dashboards that you can provide with potential employers. For example, you can store your dashboards you built using Tableau on your 
your Tableau public profile free of charge. Knowing which charts and visualizations to use for specific purposes is just as important as knowing a visualization tool. You shouldn't have misleading charts in your dashboards, for example pie chart. The usage of thin slices which are hard to discern may be difficult to interpret. You can read storytelling with data to get a better understanding of how to go about visualizing a data. How do you stay up to date with the latest data analysis tools and techniques? Data analysis is a constantly evolving field like most fields in tech and it's important to stay current with the latest tools and techniques. Discuss how you keep up to date with industry trends and advancements. Talk about any professional development opportunities you take advantage of such as attending conferences, participating in online courses or even reading tech related newsletters. What steps did you take when you were stuck on a task? Can you walk us through your problem solving process? As a data analyst, your ability to solve complex problems is critical. Discuss your problem solving process, including how you define the problem, gather and analyze data, and develop and test hypotheses. Talk about any examples of problem solving you experienced and how you have overcome them. When I was interviewed for my current role, they asked me what steps I was taking when I was stuck on a task at work. They didn't want to hear answers like, when I couldn't figure out something, I asked my manager or I collaborated with my team members. While those are okay answers and of course you're gonna ask questions, but people actually want to see that you're able to solve problems on your own or at least you try your best before looking for help. Have you worked with any ETL tools? If so, which ones? This might be more of a data engineer interview question, but as a data analyst candidate, you could be expected to answer this question depending on the company. There are different types of ETL tools such as open source ETL tools or cloud-based ones. If you worked with any of the ETL tools, make sure to talk about it with specific details. How do you handle working on multiple projects with tight deadlines? Lastly, this question is not specific to data analysis and it applies to every other role out there. Just like for any other job, attention to detail is critical for data analysis, but meeting deadlines is also very important. Discuss how you balance the two and any strategies you use to ensure that you're able to complete your work on time while maintaining accuracy and quality. Make sure to give specific examples, even if the example is a negative one, where you actually missed a deadline. If you do give a negative example, remember to state that you learned from your mistake and learned your lesson. Alright, these are all the questions I was asked for the most part when I was going through a bunch of data analyst interviews. If you think I missed any other important ones, please put them in the comments so that we can all learn. And if you like this video, you might like to check out my how I became a data analyst video as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.